Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Pack Official YouTube versus SS for Lou, and this is going to be the LCS round one, and an LCS is just a online tournament hosted by Luxury, and I'm going to try to post as many of these matches as I can. Also, make sure to check out Pack's YouTube down below in the description, and let's hop right into the video. So we're going to see SS four when the rock paper scissors shoot. And then decide to go first. 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hand is Gamma, Roshi, Chuchi, Imperm, Foolish Goods. So going second has a few hand traps. Interesting that he's on Imperm. Then they have Extravagance, TT, Curse, Scarlet, Ice Dragon's Prison. So this hand is actually like extremely good versus this hand. Like, unbelievably good. Because he has, like, Gamma Imperm, which just does nothing versus Pure Eldritch. And that's what it looks like he's playing right now. He's going to activate Extravagance, Banish 6, draw Lord TT. And, yeah, it is just Pure Eldritch. Then activate Curse, pay 8, feel great. That'll add Conquistador. And then set some back row. And pass play. Draw e -telly. Activate Foolish Goods. Send Qinglong. And then Qinglong to add Lulu. And then discard Gamma. Activate e -telly. Bring out Nian. And then activate Lulu effect. So summon itself out. Send Shuchi, add City. Then activate City, and that'll bring out Chuchi from deck. And then Chuchi to up Nian by three. And then go into Shen Shen with those. It's gonna TT on that summon. A little interesting. Um, didn't really need to do that. And then lets it go through. He was thinking about chaining Choo Chi Pop Curse. That way he gets banished because Shen Shen was on board. Uh, then activate Roshi effect. Send Ching Long. Bring itself out. Bring out Nian. It's going to activate Scarlet. Bring out Lord. So was he trying to play around... Not completely sure. I guess he wanted to do that before, like, Cloud Castle targeted. So, fair enough. Go into Cloud Castle, effect, target Shen Shen, chain Conquistador. So, he wants to use Conquistador before Shen Shen is up and Chu Chi's there. So, let's say this gets popped. Or. If it doesn't get popped, then... Wait, wait, so let's say he doesn't flip this. Shen Shen comes out. He can't outlord with just what he has on board like that. So you'd have to, like, overlay VFD beat over. This would have to get popped. Or... He would... Just not even, like, go into VFD. I don't know, I guess... It's a decent spot to use it. So, it resolves, pops Cloud Castle, bring out Shen Shen. Then, beat over Conquistador. Then, he's gonna set Imperm, Chu Chi, and pass play, draw Walk Arrow. Main phase, activate Cursed, pay it, feel great, chain Imperm. So now, Cursed is negated and Lord. Then Lord Hand Effect to send Chuchi. Uh, you can't use Lord Effect to send for cost when Shen Shen's on board. It's gonna set Walk Hero, set TT, and then End Phase activate Chuchi, pop Lord, and then gets banished because Shen Shen's there. Scarlet. To set Conquistador. Then draws GG. Just gonna activate Qinglong to add Lulu. 
and then discard GG. And then activate Lulu effect. Sun Ching Long, add Roshi, bring itself out, and then Neon effect, bring itself out. On summon, drops TT. It's gonna activate Roshi effects. Send Neon, bring itself out, and then bring out GG. Get rid of those to make Cloud Castle. And then use that, bring out Shen Shen, Battle Phase, Poke, and this only stops level 8 or lower. So this can still just attack. Oh, uh, that's also like another good thing to remember that this just has like another effect. Chooses not to Shen Shen put back there. And then pass turn, draw Lilith. It's not bad, because that just gets to another trap. It's going to activate Curse, pay 8, feel great, add Golden Lord, and then set, set Lilith. Um, why? It... Is there a reason why he set this? Like, I guess let me read it. Um, yeah, it doesn't, like, have to, like, tribute to the graveyard or anything. And that could have just, like, revealed, like, another TT, Ice Dragon's Prison. Like, it could have been something. That's so wild. I don't know. I feel like using this as a trap is better than just setting it, you know? Draw a city. And then Ching Long to add Lulu. And discard city. And then activate Lulu effect on the trap. That'll send Ching Long, add GG. Bring itself out and then activate GG effect. Send Chu Chi. Bring itself out, and then Neon Effect. Gets rid of those for Juju. And then, oh, Neon Effect, and then the opponent just scoops there. Yeah, that was, like, so questionable setting Lilith. I don't know, maybe he just doesn't know that he could use it under Shen Shen. Not sure. But going on to the next game, we're going to see Eldritch go first again. Opening hand is Twin, Ash, GG, Storm, Desires. So does need like something to target with this but sand's not like super bad still has like three draws then they have white destiny d barrier conquistador summon them at ice dragon's prison so i mean it's like decent uh it's just like traps with an engine like two turns from now it's gonna set some cards and then pass play Draws another Ash Blossom. So he's just never touching like his actual engine. It's gonna activate Desires, banish 10. And then draw a Neon, Foolish Burial Goods. Let's see what he banishes, anything bad. Uh, doesn't banish anything bad. We do see Cycle Reader, which is cool versus Eldest because it can just hit Lord out of Grave. Activate Lightning Storm, uh, wipe the back row, chain D barrier, call Synchro. Then Foolish Burial Goods. That'll send Ching Long and then Ching Long Effect. Add Lulu and then discard Neon. Normal Summon Ash, Neon Effect Engrave, bring itself out. And then overlay for number 75. Battle phase, poke for a thousand. If he plays down or there's another sun. Nope, just goes right in the Zeus and then passes play. Conquistador to set Scarlet. Draw TT for turn. He's gonna set TT and then pass his turn, draw desires. 
and then activate Zeus effect and standby, chain Scarlet, bring out Lord, and then everything just gets sent. Normal GG, Neon effect and grave. Uh, so 25, 3000, that's 55, uh, plus 16, so that's game. Yeah, you, you can just like Lulu bring itself out and then poke, and that should just be 71. Unless if I'm calculating it wrong. Whenever I'm going for a game, like in person, I always just pull out my calculator, even if it's like super simple math. Bring itself out, and then battle phase, poke, and then that is game. Yep, alright, so that was a 2 0. Shout out to Pack again. Make sure to go subscribe to him. Already winning round one with 2 0. Uh, will he top again? I don't know. If you guys want to see more of just, like, Pack on the channel, uh, I'll try getting him again. I'm trying to get, like, a whole bunch of rounds going up. You guys are going to have a lot of videos coming from me today. Like, a lot. And tomorrow. Sorry for the spam, by the way, but it's got to be done. Kind of, like, I guess the only thing that was, like, interesting about this match is, like, the fact that the opponent, like, chose to play Eldritch. I'm not just saying this because, like, oh, I don't like Eldritch, but, like, in, like, a 3v3 LCS, I just, like, would never allow one of my teammates to play Eldritch. And I, I don't know who this guy is. He could be, like, a YCS winner. I can't just, like, tell by the DB name. Uh, but deck choice was interesting. I think that the best deck for this tournament... For sure, 100% was Virtual World. So far, I've seen a lot. And I'm, when I say a lot, I mean mainly Shadal and Eldlish. Like, I, I, I don't get it. Virtual World is just, like, way better than those decks. So, it's kind of weird. But, hopefully, we get to uh, see Pack later on today. Maybe even tomorrow in the top cut. Hopefully, we see him in the top cut. Uh, once again, like, link to his channel down below in the description. Let's see how long the match was. It's gonna be too long. Yeah, just 28 minutes. Uh, so I'm gonna guess this video. Now, I do this at the end of all my videos now. I have to. I'm full committed. I feel like this video is gonna be 14 minutes, 39 seconds long. And with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.